Calvinism, what they teach is this. A Calvinist believes that God will reveal himself to him. But let's uh, clear this off. More accurately, the elect, okay? I'm not saying only Calvinist. I'm talking about the elect right here. But anyway, Calvinists, they think they're the elect, so I'm just going to put them both in one term. Anyways, so they teach from Matthew chapter 11 and verse 12, what they teach right here, uh, 11 verse 27, excuse me, God reveals himself only to a certain group of people. It's not to everybody. So thus right here, we see that this has nothing to do with a universal salvation. This shows it's a certain group of people. See, elect, elect. It's a certain group of people. Certain group. It's not to all people. So that's what it seems to show at Matthew chapter 11 and verse 27. God reveals himself to them. Whereas the whole entire world, God will not reveal himself to them for salvation. So then that they die and they go to hell, so to speak. So they go down. So then what do we do in this case right here? Well, let's see what the verses are talking about in this case. Matthew chapter 11 and verse 27. Notice this seems to support the Calvinist notion of the elect. It reads right here. All things are delivered unto me of my Father, and no man knoweth the Son but the Father. Neither knoweth any man the Father save the Son. See, so not everybody can know the Father. And he to whosoever the Son will reveal him. Look at that. So whoever Jesus selects or elects or chooses to reveal himself to, he'll reveal himself to them. See that? It shows a certain group. It's not to the whole world. The whole world is fried. The whole world is fried. They go to hell. They're lost. Okay, what are we going to do in this case right here? Uh, let's see 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 10. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, and then we'll read verse 10. What is the case right here? Well, notice the Bible says that this revealing of this certain group of people, <laughs> so this is very misconstrued. They are right about this. God reveals himself truly to a certain group of people. But you know who they are? Who they are is that they are the saved Christians. Now, here's the idea right here. Okay, I'm going to clarify this even more. That way you can... Get the idea. It's more simple than you think. Saved Christians. Let me ask you this question. Can lost people understand what God reveals to them? A lot of times they don't, right? They don't. They're very blind to that. But unless you're a saved Christian in the Lord Jesus Christ, then you can understand the things of God, correct? Yeah, so that's the simple idea right here. So let's look at 1 Corinthians chapter 2. And verse 10, the Bible says right here, But God hath revealed them unto us by his Spirit. For the Spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God. See, God reveals himself to you if you have the Holy Spirit. So let's look at verse 12. Now we have received not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. See, so this is the misconception. You ready for this? This is why it's confusing. What they teach right here is that this elect is before salvation. See that? That's where it becomes confusing. That's why Calvinists are very confusing. And when you debate with them, you got to get a full picture right here and break it down. Then you get the idea. God reveals himself to the elect before salvation, long before the foundation of the world. So thus, God does not show himself to everybody where they can get saved. Whoa, 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 calm down right here. No, this has nothing to do with before salvation right here. This is talking about already you are saved. Already salvation right here. See that? When you're already saved in the Lord Jesus Christ, God reveals things to you more. And then you get it and you understand, right? Because before salvation, did you understand that book? Did you understand the things of God? No. 
It's that simple. See that? Wow. I was so confused at the beginning. See, that's why I get mad at these Calvinists. They make it so confusing that actually when you break it down, you realize, no, that thing, God had not, God wasn't talking about that at all ever since the beginning. Mm -hmm. By the way, here's another thing. This is conditioned. You saw 1 Corinthians 2. How God reveals is if you have the Holy Spirit within you, right? Ah, then let me ask you this question. Before salvation, do you have the Holy Spirit or no? No. So, no offense, but duh. Obvious then. God doesn't reveal himself to you. See, until you receive the Holy Ghost first, see, condition. Calvinists always get around that. They always overlook condition. Unless the person follows condition of believing Jesus Christ for his salvation, he can have the Holy Spirit in him, and God reveals himself to him. Ah, see, that is for everybody. But obviously, not everybody has a Holy Spirit because everybody doesn't follow the condition. But that condition is for everybody. The problem is everybody don't follow the condition. There you go. All right, now let's look at Ephesians chapter 1, verse 13. See that? See why we slam Calvinism? They make it so confusing. You're like, oh, with logic? See, it, 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 it is logic. It follows a certain pattern that sounds logical. But then you look at, you break it down, and then you look at the overall picture, you go, wow, it's more simple than I thought. They complicated it. Ephesians 1.13, in whom ye also trusted. See, did God force you or you had to accept him by free choice? After that, ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation. In whom also after that ye believed. Did it say God forced them? No. They, out of their free choice, did the condition. I believed ye were sealed with that what? Holy Spirit of promise. See, they got the Holy Spirit. And because of that, the Holy Spirit can reveal that's why Jesus said in Matthew chapter 11, he reveals himself only to the certain group. Okay, let's also turn to 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14, and let's call it a night. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 14, and let's call it a night. There's a lot of people who get deceived by false doctrine, and obviously... I myself, and especially everybody in this room, they certainly shouldn't. They got to realize that they're just totally blind, and we got to love them and show them the truth. Yeah. And you were no better than them. You were probably worse than them. I, I could have been even 10 times worse than them if I wasn't raised like this. But what I'm pounding against is I'm pounding against certain false teachers that should know better, and they deliberately try to deceive more souls, and then they bring them to destruction. That's why I pound these Calvinists. The Calvinists I'm pounding on are people who stubbornly refuse to accept the truth, and they just want to get more people into their lives, and they will complicate the argument. You don't come up with an argument like that the first day as an honest person. This takes deliberate intention planning out with a hard heart. All right, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. So we read verse 10. See, God reveals us by His Spirit. But if you're lost, verse 14, but the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God. For they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. See that? See, if you're lost, you can't get saved. Here's a very easy argument against Calvinists. You ready for this? God only reveals himself to a certain group of people, and these are the elect long before the foundation of the world. Okay, before you got saved, did God reveal himself to you? Ah, they didn't. They didn't understand the things of God. They were a natural man who didn't understand the things of God. Look at that. So I guess they were never the real elect to begin with. But they believe that they were elected long before the foundation of the world. How about that? That's actual proof that debunks Calvinism easily. Easily.